Hey, this is Eddie Hale, and I'm going to show you how to draw the toothpaste from Lesson 5 in my Adobe Illustrator class. This lesson is a lot about filling shapes with colors, CMYK colors, and then later on Pantone colors. Let's go to Illustrator and draw it. There are some other lessons thrown in here. For instance, um, I drew it with the pencil tool, and that one I drew it with the pencil tool because I wanted it to appear to, appear to be hand-drawn, and um, there's this quirky thing about the pencil tool. When you draw another shape by default, this shape I'm drawing right now is going to replace the one I just drew. Oh, I didn't want that to happen. So I'm going to undo. The trick is you have to deselect before you draw the next path. So I'm going to hold the command key and click somewhere else to deselect the path. Now I'm going to draw my next shape. The other interesting thing about the pencil tool is that um, it draws unfilled shapes. So I'm going to pause the tape right now and finish drawing all the shapes required for my tube of toothpaste and then I will... So there now I've got all my shapes. I'm going to switch to the uh, the direct selection arrow and I'm going to adjust my shapes and then we will fill them with color. I'm going to start out by selecting everything and filling it with uh, just the default black and white so I can see how things are layered. Oh. I've layered it pretty well. I'm going to send this one to back. I'll use my keystrokes, shift, command, left bracket to send that to back. So there, my tube of toothpaste is looking pretty good. Now to fill it with the color. If you look at the handout, it says that I'm supposed to fill this shape with 10% cyan, 3% magenta, 3% yellow, and 0% black. And then the stroke is a little darker. Well, let's do the first one. I uh, do this, I remember, 10, 3, 3, 0. I go back to Illustrator and I select all this stuff, and I go to the color box. If your sliders are not CMYK, you can go to the pop-out here. You can go to this pop-out and change them to CMYK, and then I can put in 10, I believe it was. I tab down to the next field, three, three, zero. That's the fill, this little light blue on all my shapes. Now, the stroke is a different fill. It is 50, 15, 5, and 0. So I'll go back to Illustrator and um, bring the stroke swatch forward and type in 50. I hit tab, um, 15, 5, and 0. And there's my stroke, a little bit darker blue. Now, if you go back here, I've got to draw these shadow shapes. Let's plan ahead. The shadow shape sort of covers up the bottom edge of the toothpaste. The shadow shape is there, and this one you can look at the handout while you draw. And um, I'm going to draw those shadow shapes now with my pencil tool again. And I think I will let you go draw your shadow shapes and then come back. So this shape here, I, um, I cover up the whole bottom edge of the toothpaste tube. You won't even see that edge. It's going to be a little bit darker blue. And then I'm going to put it behind this round shape here. This shape here is tricky, the shadow shape. I'm going to carefully trace along this edge, not carefully enough. It's going to separate from this shadow a little bit right there. And then it goes over here, and I'm going to hide it behind that front edge of the toothpaste. So let's select all those shadow shapes. If you hold the shift key when you click on all these, you can fill them with the shadow color. Looking at my handout, the shadow color is make the stroke none, go to fill, and my notes say that the fill is 30% cyan, 10% magenta, 5% yellow, and zero black. So that's my, my shadow color, no stroke on that. I'll bring these four shapes forward so that this shadow goes behind that shape. And then I'm going to zoom in on this area, take my direct selection arrow and adju adjust this shadow so it sits right on the stroke here. Now there's a bit of trickery I learned. I'm going to bring this to the front. I would probably fix this, this union here. I might select these two endpoints and do a um, Shift Option Command J to join those together, make them one, one path. And then if I wanted, I could even go in with a convert point tool and make that a curve. But this stroke right here, I wish this stroke were coming over my path. 
So I learned a trick that real illustrators use. I copy this whole shape. So I have this whole shape. I'm going to copy it, Command C. I'm going to click on the shadow and hit Command F for paste in front. So now that's right in front of the shadow. If I turn the fill off on this, fill, none, that stroke goes over the shadow. And that's handy in a lot of illustrations. You can um, do that. You can add color shapes under, under strokes in all of your illustrations if you remember that trick. I'm going to fix this curve. It's just bugging me. All right, so that's, um, that's that. The final thing I want you to do is to uh, draw these color shapes in here, draw these color shapes, and fill them with the appropriate color. I will pause the tape while you make those shapes. Okay, once you have those shapes drawn, let's select the first one. We'll look at the handout. It says that it is 70, 20, 0, 0. 70% 70 cyan, 20% magenta. Oops, 20% magenta and zero yellow. And it has a stroke of none, so I'm going to make the stroke none. So looking at the handout, I can see that this stroke is also none, and the fill according to my handout is 95% cyan, 15 magenta, 90 yellow, and 5 black. Whoa, I, I uh, screwed up here. Looking at my handout, I can see that it's 95 cyan. It is 15 magenta, 90 yellow, and 5 black to make that beautiful green color there. And then the last one, stroke is none. Looking at the handout, the fill is 15% cyan. Tab down to the next field, highlight it. It's uh, 100 magenta, 70 yellow, and 20 black to make this deep red color. So there you go. That's one of them drawn. The next trick is the shadow. If you look at the handout, there's this beautiful multicolored shadow under there. Draw your shadow with the pencil tool. And I bring the shadow closer here and then further away so it looks like the tail end of this thing is up in the air. The shadow is going to go behind the shape. And according to my handout, it's filled with 30% cyan, uh, this 10% magenta, 5 yellow, and 0 black. There's my shadow color. I'm going to send that to back, shift command, left bracket. It's the same as my uh, shadow color right here. On my tube of toothpaste. Now look at this. I'm going to hold the option key. I'm going to take the black selection here. I'll hold the option key and drag a copy of it down here. Rotate it a little bit. This is going to give the illusion of multiple light sources. Option drag another copy. Rotate that a little bit. So there's three of them here. If I select them, you can see there's three of them there. I'm going to do this fun thing. I'm going to take the transparency panel here and I'm going to change the blending mode to multiply. Now wherever those shadows cross each other, they, um, their color values add up, so it gets darker where it crosses over itself. Kind of fun, huh? I might fix that little blur, maybe not. So there's the first tube of toothpaste. Uh, fun learning the pencil tool, uh, learning how to mix CMYK colors, layering, and then this fun transparency thing with the blending mode of multiply. Hope you enjoyed it.